Hey, it's Eddie Vetter. Wanted to give you a quick update on uh, some some subject matter that I've been kind of investigating over the last couple of days. I'm very interested in. Um, just starting out, I just wanted to kind of give my own background on the way I felt about the anonymous movement in the past. I was really worried about uh, covering or promoting it with uh, some of the activism that I do just due to the fact that uh, I was always worried about infiltration and an anonymous movement you never know who's 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 actually in charge you never know if it's a CIA or FBI agent and uh, I was very concerned that an anonymous movement was here government front to uh, shut down the internet having said that um, just to let you know how skeptical skeptical I am often of uh, people and movements and organizations. Um, I've been doing some research recently on a Mr. Barrett Brown who's facing lots and lots of federal charges right now. Um, they just brought him up on more charges. They raided this guy's house in September. Um, I watched his videos where he supposedly threatened an FBI agent. I'm not seeing it. Uh, and the reason I say that is because obviously I'm not Eddie Vedder and, and most of... Uh, Barrett Brown's videos, you do clearly see that he is sarcastic, that he does uh, say that he's other people that he's not in the very beginning of his videos, and he has a certain demeanor about himself. Uh, he also admits that he was a you know a past heroin addict, and uh, he had been on some prescription drugs to deal with that. And in some of the last videos after the the most recent FBI raids, while he was still a free man. He was uh, withdrawing off of those drugs and admitted it and put out some videos. And the subject matter was, is absolutely enlightening and fascinating. And all of the actions by the federal government do lead me to believe that uh, Barrett Brown is on the right track. Um, and, and just some recent news, too. I mean, if you look at... Uh, let's get into it. I don't know if a lot of people even know. Um, Barrett Brown's group... Anonymous. I'm not going to say it's his group because obviously it's not his group. He'll be the first to admit that. But let's just say the anonymous movement and other groups beyond that. There's a lot of off splinter groups, and I don't know all the details on this, but I know that Barrett Brown was in the center of a lot of uh, activism activities related that I'm going to get into right now. And I don't know all the details. I'm not straight on it. If I'm not, just just fill me in and tell me why I'm wrong. Don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm just trying to cover this. Um, and there's a lot of information here. The first thing is that uh, uh, a group, and I think this might have been, even been Lulsack at the, this point, which isn't even Barrett Brown, but a group had uh, hacked into some different uh, U.S. Pentagon, Defense Department, CIA, front companies. These are private corporations. Uh, one is H.B. Gary. Another one, um, it, it, you know, and, and another one is actually... Uh, Related, there's a few different corporations that they have kind of gone after and found a lot of information out. Uh, one of the big ones was Stratfor. Stratfor is based in Austin, Texas. It's, uh, in my opinion, definitely a CIA front group. Uh, former CIA officers. They captured a lot of e a lot of emails, internal emails. They they apparently got into the system for Stratfor, po posted the uh, a lot of the internet uh, emails on WikiLeaks and some of the information was very startling um, they talked about uh, uh, a certain new type of uh, company that I'm actually trying to look up right now um, and actually give me one it's called uh, Trapwire the company is called Trapwire um, Trapwire is connected to Abraxas Corporation which is also uh, owned by another corporation which is called Cubic and uh, Cubic has actually been caught lying about uh, the connections to Abraxas Corporation. Um, and Barrett Brown was, was really reporting on all this news. He, he, was, he was covering this when, when getting this mainstream press where no one else would cover it. And what, why, why, why is this so important? Trapwire. Trap, what is Trapwire? Trapwire is a secret, secret wiretapping of American citizens in public. Using a private corporation using public resources, in my opinion, to steal, to spy on American citizens with no warrant, with no justification. This is Big Brother. 
Um, and, and with facial res recognition coming out right now, software that everyone's using is the rage. They're now, they want to they wanna put uh, your facial recognition in a database with, and record you everywhere you go so that you're in a public bus anywhere. They're going to be able to hack into the local uh, public transportation and they're going to be able to record you on that bus. And if you don't believe me, I want you to take a look at uh, the daily. TheDaily.com, Big Brother's Listening, new uh, story that just came out December 10th, related again to all of this. It doesn't even get into the corporations that I'm talking about, but uh, basically Homeland Security is putting in microphones to record your conversations. If you live in uh, San Francisco, Homeland Security is going to tap you. They're going to they're going to listen to you on the subways and the buses, and they're funding this in San Francisco for your public transportation. This is coming to America. Well, this private corporation, Cubic Corporation, who owns Intrepid, who owns Trapwire, who owns Abraxas, they have a system already in place, and Stratfor was promoting this, and Stratfor was getting kickback for this. And trap wire is in U.S. cities. It might be in Boston where I'm at. You know, walking down the street, they might be listening to you right now. Walking down the street, listening to your private conversation. They could be listening to you on the bus, on the train, on the subway. Pretty soon, I wonder if they won't uh, be able to listen to you driving down the street in your car with your window down, talking to the person sitting next to you. This is Big Brother. This is what's happening. And um, Barrett Brown really reported on this and exposed it. And I feel he's been harassed big time by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the U.S. Justice Department for challenging them, for calling them out. And most specifically, in one of his most recent videos, one of his last videos in September, before they came in and raided him and brought him to jail, and he's been in jail ever since, um, he, he, he said you know, he, he wanted the computers back that they had stolen from his mother. They had broken into his mother's house, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and illegally gone after this guy for activism, for nonviolent, nonviolent activities. Um, they they charge him with fraud. I don't believe that this man has committed any fraud. I, I think that he is an activist, and I don't think that he has committed any fraud. He said the only money he got was twenty five thousand dollars from a book deal, and uh, that book was stolen by the FBI. So, uh, you know, I. I, from my past history of seeing what I've seen, I think that the FBI is, are the criminals in this case. I don't think Barrett Brown is a criminal. I think that the FBI coming in with guns into this man's house is a criminal. It's a criminal act, what they're doing to this man, uh, because he's exposing the Big Brother surveillance technology that's coming out in America that the CIA and the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Justice Department don't want you to know about, that they are tapping us. That they're illegally wiretapping us everywhere we are. That's what's going on right now. And the Department of Homeland Security is paying for it. And uh, Barrett Brown challenged them. And he, he basically demanded the laptop computers back. I listened to the, to the YouTube. You can listen to it yourself. Listen to his YouTube videos. I don't see what he did as a threat to the federal government. I don't know how they can charge him with the charges that they're charged. I think it's a it's a kangaroo court, and I think they want to kill this guy. I think they want to kill him in prison. Um, Barrett Brown, I just want to salute you for the work that you've done. I'm, I'm with you. I believe that you are being railroaded, and I think that everyone should stand up and ask questions about Cubic Corporation, about uh, uh, these, these other corporations, Trapwire especially. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Uh, WikiLeaks, as soon as they release this information that they got from Stratfor, about Trapwire, all of a sudden WikiLeaks was down with de denial of service. Where do you think that was coming from? FBI, CIA, Department of U.S. Justice, the Pentagon, these corporations? I don't see any of them in jail. I don't see any any uh, anybody coming into their house with guns when they when they knock down WikiLeaks. Like this is out of control. The federal government and these corporations. They're, they're tracking everything you do. And, and you know who this is used against? This is used against people like myself. My, like uh, myself, Eddie Vedder here that sings for Pearl Jam. <laughs> and I'm, again, I'm using that. Obviously, I'm not Eddie Vedder. My name is Mike Can. I think people know me by now. But uh, the reason I say I'm Eddie Vedder is because that's the, what Barrett said. Barrett used to have a different name every time in one of his videos. And I just wanted to do that to honor Barrett today since he's sitting in federal jail. 
and I see all these bots come out. That's the other thing he got into too, is that these corporations, the same ones I'm mentioning, also have uh, they've bought in technology to create bots on the internet, bots that can talk to you, bots that can rag on you to no end. These are fake accounts. These are these are computer simulations. These guys have technology to run the internet. They have technology to spy on us like ever, never before, and they are not revealing it. And uh, Barrett Brown, he's calling it out. And and you know what? This all of these actions are illegal. The CIA cannot spy on American citizens. That that's against their charter. Number one. Uh, number two, the CIA also they're not supposed to be doing these things on U.S. soil. And uh, they get away with it by using these front corporations, and the front corporations say they're going to use it in other countries, which is a lie. They're using it here in America. I have no doubt that they're also in other countries using the same technology, but let's, we all know that they're using it on U.S. citizens, and specifically what U.S. citizens are they going to use it on? They're going to use it on people like Barrett Brown, on people like Mike Can, on people like, in the past, that they've used these cointel operations. Again, Martin Luther King, Tupac, you know, the people who are any way political and successful in the world, those are the ones they're going after. And specifically the more famous people. I'm not saying that the government's all over me right now, but I wouldn't doubt if there's a file. I wouldn't doubt if I was in the, the Boston Fusion Center. I wouldn't doubt if, if the Boston police have a file on me. It seems like every time I step out of the house to go to an activism event, and, and not just me, a few people that I know who are in the, either the Liberty Movement or the Occupy Movements in Boston, anytime we step outside our door for an event, that we, we that we're doing some activism, nine times out of ten the cops are there before we are. It's like the cops are waiting for us. Not just one cop, like several cops, and it's usually the same. We like you know we kind of see the same police now. Like we 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 we, we need to find out their names so we can like you know send them cards and things on their birthday. But I mean, this is this is America today, and you, people need to stand up and people need to protest and people need to stand behind Barrett Brown for exposing them and, and demand that Barrett's out of jail. Um, I, I'm just going to say, fuck, fuck the police, fuck the FBI, fuck this bullshit Cubic Corporation, Richard Helms, please, Abraxas Corporation, Entrepid, Trapwire, uh, all of these groups. The, the, the one in Texas that, you know, that the Stratfor, Stratfor fuck, fuck them, fuck them. I'm not saying to get violent with them. I'm just saying fuck them. Because that, that, you guys have said fuck, uh, fuck you to us as American citizens. You don't trust us. You, you've put us in a box. You're putting someone like... You've, you've gone to war against someone like Barrett Brown, who's trying to make the world a better place. Barrett Brown's not a violent person. Look at Barrett. Watch his videos. I mean, this is ridiculous. Who's, who are the violent criminals? It's the people at the Pentagon. It's not Barrett Brown. 